It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Torp for the Krups, the Sub Compact. This is Biro Moretti's Bock Alitaliana. It's 7.2% ABV. It's their La Rossa, so it's going to be a red ale. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to load the Torp. So grab all of that, open the... Oop. Open the cap up very quickly. You've got a new line. A new line comes with every beer. Take out the line. Just out of, just out of shot. Grab hold of your top. And then you just simply push it in. Just like that. Over to the machine. Probably see it from there. Open the door of the machine. Lift off your tap handle. Load the machine from the back. So I'll come around here. Load it from the back. Load it in. seems to be loaded nicely, put the tap on, close the door and then most importantly, can you see the little red line there, the little red light on the machine, that's got to go green, all the moving, the shaking, Get it down to temperature because I've had this, I've pre-cooled it in my fridge. It's very, very important you pre-cool these kegs, these torps in the fridge before you put them in. That should take about, in my experience, from my fridge to this machine should take about half an hour to get it down to temperature. So we'll wait. Hopefully we've still got some light. Um, it's the end of November now, so uh, the nights are coming in really quickly. Um, we're fighting against the dark. So if I am in the kitchen, which I probably won't be, I reckon we have got enough light, we'll get one poured. Back in a bit. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see from there, but we have a green light on the Krups, the Sub Compact with the Bira Moretti La Rossa. So what I'm gonna do first, I've got my glass. I'm looking forward to this one, I really am. I'm just going to pull a little bit off, swirl it, get it down me, just to pull some beer th through the line, and then I'm going to pour the beer. So ignore that bit. You don't have to waste it, you don't have to sling it down the sink. The line is clean, so um, yeah, j just do this with it. And now pull, now pull a proper beer off. Oh, that's good. It's looking good. It's looking very good. That's not bad at all. It's on the, it's smack on the line. I'm not sure if you can see the line there. Let's get out of focus and, and come back in. We talked about losing the light earlier on. I'm very fortunate that that beer machine went green as quick as it did, or the green light went on as quick as it did. You can probably see a little bit of difference with the light. A few more shadows in the background, but hey ho, um, here we are. Uh, two finger tan coloured head, lovely ruby red coloured beer. The La Rossa. I've really been enjoying every single one of these machines. I go into each review, whether it be the Philips Perfect Draft, the Krups, the 
pygmy or the, the blade beer, I'd go into it with an individual kind of independent individual review type of thing of each one. And I've got to be honest, that looks fantastic. That looks really, really fantastic when you look at the, the quality of that beer. It's nice and cold. Cools it down to about 3-4 degrees. Let's get the aroma. A deep mahogany cherry red coloured beer. Quite clear. There's no what I'm what I mean by clear is that there's no sediment in the beer. Um, let's get the aroma. Cherry red. Just loads of complex malts, like this, this uh, a roasted malt characteristic coming through. You definitely get those those red malts coming through, but with the the hop clashing with that that red malt gives a a juicy jammy plummy kind of aroma. Yeah, it smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. It's very good. Very, very good. There's a nice biscuity kind of breadiness to this beer. It's very jammy, plum and fig and prune and raspberry jam flavours. The, the biggest thing that surprises me with this beer is just that it's, it's ruby, <laughs> the mouthfeel, the mouthfeel is really, really good. Look at the lacing on the glass as well, look at that lacing. But the mouthfeel is creamy and rich. And it's... I mean, when you think of beer and Moretti, you think Italian light golden lager. But actually, the brewery is producing different style beers. I mean, it's, it's majority owned by Heineken now. We all know that. There's no point in hiding behind that fact that it's majority owned by Heineken. But they produce red ales the red ales are really good it's the reason why i've revisited this beer on the on the crups is because it's a it's a fabulous beer it really is i've always liked the the red ales from beer and moretti ever since i was at marco polo airport in venice and i was walking past with my suitcase and i heard an italian man in a suit he looked the bee's knees, this guy. He looked the absolute bee's knees. Italian man in his suit and he said, I'll have a, I'll have a Moretti Red or Rossa, a Moretti Rossa. And my, do you know them times in life where you just want a beer? I just went, oh, I walked past my suitcase and I just, on wheels, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, on, on the on the tiles on the floor, you know that sort of situation. And he said in his great Italian accent, Moretti Rossa, and it just put me on my heels, turned me round on my heels, and yeah, I went and had a beer. <laughs> I went and had a, a, a Rossa at the bar, um, and I, I, at that point, I didn't know where my flight was and. 
And I just had a beer. I just, just went and had a beer. And I've always, ever since then, ever since then, I've always liked their, their red ale. And this La Rosa, 7%, 7.2 I said, wasn't it? The, the keg's loaded now and I can't remember, but I think I said earlier on 7.2% ABV. You really get the body, the body of the beer. The richness, the breadiness, the biscuitiness, great body to the beer. It's This is the best, best beer and Moretti beer I've ever had. And, and I, I'm going to say right now, a few people have mentioned in the comments, and I'm not going to have none of it. I'm not going to have none of it. I bought, apart from this one, the Brewfit, which was kindly given to me by Brewfit. I bought the Philips Perfect Graph with my own money, I bought the Krups, I bought the Blade. I bought all of these beer machines out of my own money. I bought a load of kegs, torps, with my own money. This is not, this is absolutely not a paid review by Heineken. It, none of it ever has been. I have been, and I don't mind, you know, I'm honest. I'm honest as the day is young, or whatever the saying goes. The Beowulf have sent me a few kegs for the blade. They've sent me a few kegs for the blade. But apart from that, that is it. That is it. I have purchased all the, all the beer myself. And I honestly really, really like this beer. And I'm going to rate it. Fabulous stuff. 8 out of 10. I really recommend... Beer Moretti La Rossa on the Krups compact machine. It's really good. You can pick up the kegs at beerwolf.com. Um, I said 7 out of 10, didn't I? 7 out of 10. I think 7 or 8. What did I say? 7 or 8. I can't remember now. Seven out of, we'll give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.